Day 92. Good morning. It was a rather pleasant night. <clears throat> the rain washed out that whipper whirl, so ha ha ha, a new whipper whirl. I used to try to go strong in the rain, in the, the rain pattering on my, pitter pattering on my, on my tent was drowning him out, but eventually the rain got so much that he just shut up, gave up and went away, or just gave up and sat there and just watched. I don't know. I don't know what whipper whirls do when they're not whipper whirly. But screw that little guy. I'm glad he got wet. Oh, but it seems like a really pleasant morning. The wind is blowing. Not really strong, but, you know, if there's clouds, they'd be moving. Um, the temperature is awesome. I'm just sitting here in a skirt. I'm comfortable brewing my coffee. I'm hoping for a sunrise today. Ah, oh, that would make my day. Oh, be attacked by a moth. Go away, moth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really hoping for that sunrise today, man. That would make my day. But regardless, we're going to go down to McAfee Knob, hang out there for a while, and see what goes down. See you out there. And we're off. It's about 4.20 in the a.m. Yes, I did just have a safety meeting. Very important. Good start to every day. We are less than two miles from McAfee. I'm hoping to get a good time lapse. Maybe cool, a few cool photos of me. And I'm hoping there's a lot of people there, which I rarely say, but they would make the time lapse better. Clouds, but a break in the clouds so the sun can come through. Oh, it is sticky out here. So humid, you can see it. Even the trees are sweating. Only about a mile off. I want to get there before anybody else sets up their cameras. So that I can get a good spot. You don't want people traveling in front of my camera while it's doing a time lapse. I mean, off in the distance where the knob is, but not right in front of my camera. Bear call. Love this thing. You just see the corners of the light. If only it did different colors. Oh, that's just cool. How far away is that visible from? This is not boating well for photography. But I'm gonna set it up anyway. Things change at a moment's notice out here. But this thing doesn't even cut through the haze that's going on. Mist. The mist. You ever seen the movie The Mist? It's a great movie, I love the ending. Movies don't often end really good like that. It's 
great movie where the monsters aren't really the monsters. They're just plot drivers. The real monsters are in the building with them. I can see it silhouetted in the distance. But I guess you guys can't huh? Can they light up with the beam? Not really, no. I don't think that's the knob, is it? I think it might be. Or is that the spot that you take the picture of the knob? Let's get closer to the edge. I'll recognize the edge. Yeah. That is it. That's not it, no. no I'm pretty sure I sat like right there with my legs hanging over the edge, holding onto this ledge very, very tightly. Whipple wolf found me. Or maybe there's some campers over there that he saw. I think Whipple worlds are attracted to tents. Okay, let's set up our stuff. All right, so we're taking off from Tinker Cliffs. That's Achilles. He came out here and hung out with us. He was the only one that made it. Good thing we were here because he wouldn't have got photos without us. We got some good ones. Not quite the sunrise I was hoping for, but it had that hot Jupiter effect. I like that. And better than just solid clouds and such. Okay. So it's 15 miles to town. I've got almost no food on me. I've got a few snacks in my pocket. So let's get there fast. to my elbow. Ow, that hurt. Love early day. Working our way down to Tinker Cliffs. Couldn't even really see them this morning from McAfee, but I couldn't last time either. I got way better photos this time at least. Last time pretty much every one of my iconic photos on the trail are all gray backgrounds. All the way up to Katahdin. Going out on the edge of McAfee Knob and dangling a leg over was not nearly as difficult this time as it was the first time. I did it a couple of times, just because the sun was doing cooler stuff, so you, know, you had to run back out and try to get a better shot than the one before. 
I was still a little apprehensive about it, but I didn't get all freaked out. My guts didn't twist up, didn't get dizzy. Improvements. Now I gotta see how I do on Forrester Pass again. That's on the PCT for those of you who don't know. But that made me cry a little bit when I did it. So we'll see how I handle it next time. That's probably not next season, but the season after that. If all goes well. Which it generally does. How you doing? You don't do much, do you? Oh, I saw your little tail go in. You're like, screw that, that guy's looking at my butt. How you doing in there today, brother? He is a male. Got that little divot in his shell right there. 
That's so he can mount and not fall off. Turtle sex is not easy. Oh, let me go. I'm going to let you go. I'm done playing with you. Little campsite down there. Right under the rock ledge. The land of the lost, 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 lost. Looks like a cool little site. Oh. Look at the angle of the dangle on this bad boy. You are not long for this world hanging on by a little lip. Oh, they don't want you to go through here anymore. Possibly because of that? Let's try this up this way. But you can tell by the markings that people camp in there. I don't blame them, I would. I'd be like, what are the odds it's gonna fall tonight? And if it does, does it even hurt? I don't think you actually know about it. And maybe nobody ever would. You'd just be the case of the disappearing hiker. Sure, that rock would stink for a few days, but wouldn't last long. <laughs> Nobody'd ever find your squished hiker body. Well, we have made it to Tinker Cliffs. Broccoli covered mountains, as far as the eye can see. Broccoli upon broccoli. Prove to me those are trees. I mean, these are trees. But you can't prove those are trees. Could be broccoli. Whew. The poor man's McAfee knob right there. You can hang out on it, get some pictures. Look at me being able to get near edges. Oh, look at me, look at me. I'm near the edge. Ooh, that's as close I'm getting. Oh. <laughs> Fast improvements. What a beautiful tree. Let's stop and take a picture. What happened to the forest over there? And I'm just... Man. Is it gonna be a neighborhood or something? your footing here. Oh. Little turtle, don't jump. It's not worth it. Oh, he's so cute. Come here, little guy. You're coming with me. Oh, it is a little girl. Doesn't have a divot. Or maybe they get the divot when they're older. I don't know. 
Here, you go that way, man. You're welcome. I don't know who's making these kind of webs. I mean, I can see it, but I don't know what kind of spider that is. I don't even know if the web shows up, but they're really interesting patterns. Like hollow spheres. I can hear this just excellent, but it won't show up on the camera. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah, but it's like a soccer ball, man. Hollow in the sun. I got distracted by webs. I even walked off trail. I didn't realize it. it made sense to keep going that way. Erosion on these. This rock is really popular. That big one over here. What's going on? Very low on food. All I have left is two Nutri-Green bars, and I still got like ten miles to go. Exiting the shelter, just got my water and stuff. And who do I see out this side? Yeah, you better run. We can hear some trail maintenance going on. There's dudes with chainsaws down the way. Purists have to go up there and then walk across. Okay. I'm bringing some shit down. Cacao. Thanks, guys. All right, so I don't. for your safety and ours, they have hard-headed people here to direct traffic for us, so that we don't get hit by a random tree. Well, Evidently, they were yelling stuff at me, but I was ignoring it because I was talking to you guys. You know, you're more important than the hard-headed person up there. And you can't look at me and expect to, for me to take you serious. I mean, look at me. Would you expect that guy to take you serious when you're saying stuff to him from under your hard hat? No. No, you would not. Oh, yep, they're telling him, hey, wait, there's two more people coming through. Because we're coming through. Nothing exciting will happen while we're coming through, so I won't even bother recording it. Yeah, lots of maintenance going on. They said we had perfect timing because they were letting another little group of hikers through. Perfect timing. Of course, I always have that. A bunch of people in there. Dudes with chainsaws and shit, but I didn't want to film them and make them uncomfortable. Plus, there's a huge guy with a chainsaw. <laughs> I can't run huge guys with chainsaws, though. That is a fact. Probably even with my backpack on. I 
Okay, it's mostly downhill to town. I'm excited to get there. We ran into Flash and Wolverine again. Haven't seen them since the Smokies, I'm pretty sure. They'll be in town. Maybe we'll hang out with them. They're cool as fuck. They've hiked this whole trail before, so they know what it's all about. They're just back for funsies, just kind of like I am this time. I think that's them in front of me. Am I moving fast or they move slow? I'm probably moving fast. I'm hungry. I got a couple snacks left. They gave us some snacks. Because they have too many. And I'm happy to help. That's what I do. The terrain has been rather kind. The weather's great. It's sprinkled a couple times, but only for a couple of seconds each time, so that doesn't even count. It actually feels really good out right now. This is easy, good hiking. I can dig my poles into this dirt. I feel like I'm getting a good workout. Push it before town. Be all super hungry when I get in there. I don't know what there is, but I'm going to eat it. Now we have to come back for seconds. Etc, etc, etc. Hell yo. Hmm. Oh, motherfucker! You jerk! Just stung me in my arm. Or bit me, I don't know. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so I'm about eight miles from town. Storms are coming in, but that looks bad. But I can see anyway. The wind is kind of coming from this direction. But it's not supposed to be bad for long. Or bad at all. Who cares? We'll be there. There'll be food. It'll be great. Hmm, blue blaze to an overlook. Nah. That's not far either, but I've already seen that view. I got places to be. Things to masticate. I said masticate. Come on out of the gutters. And things are starting to change a little bit around here. I should probably get out of my cotton skirt and into some clothes, but I, I just don't feel like doing it yet. Maybe I'll risk it. It's in the 70s. It's not like I'll freeze to death or anything. I'll get a little chilly and probably put on clothes. <laughs> Most likely. I don't like getting wet. You don't often see me in water beyond my knees. Water's always too freaking cold. You're in that hot spring, man. I'll dip myself in. The water out of the sky is always too damn cold. Yesterday I didn't wear a rain jacket there. I just wore my normal hiking shirt. And that was good enough. actually felt kind of nice, but that's because it stopped. I had it kept going, I had it bitched out and put on my rain jacket, gloves, and bit all whiny and cold.
I'm going to pretend like a little shower is welcome because I don't think I got a choice. Well, hell. I knew it was bound to happen. Guess I'll stop and put on some clothes because these raindrops are already cold. So far, not so bad. I just put on a rain jacket. I didn't even put on a shirt or anything. My rain jacket's on the outside and easy to get to. But I didn't bother putting on pants. If anything, I hiked my skirt way too high so it doesn't get wet and it's mostly hiding under my raincoat. I left it just a little bit hanging out for modesty, but I was only willing to sacrifice so much of this skirt to getting wet. I can easily tug some down if, you know, humans are present. It's almost like hike naked day, but, you know, it's quick draw modesty. This looks easier. <clears throat> and that's Look at the little guy on the boat. I'm 
I'm about, I don't know, four miles, three and a half miles from food. I've got one snack left. I'm saving it for about a mile and a half out. Because I figure I'll be a little woozy by then. I get a little weak when I don't get enough food. I thrive on sugar, caffeine, you know, those kind of things. But I timed this one really well. Not keeping any extra food on my back, that's for sure. And I'm not going in too hungry. Just hungry enough to mess something up. I don't know what's uh, there. I haven't really checked. But it's all going in my belly. You can see a person on that dock. Interesting that that little island out there has the tree. I don't know what river that is. Or is that even a river? It looks too wide to be a river. Sir. It looks like a Bojangles down there. I'd eat there. Where do I pop out of the woods at? I'm hungry. All those colorful buildings, at least one of them's got to be food. But I bet you more. I'm about to eat my last uh, Nutri-Grain bar. Yeah, I'm sick of those. That's about all I've eaten today. I've had a little bit more, but not much. I'm ready to be done for the day. Oh, hello, little berries. You're getting there. Oh, hello, berries. Yes. Oh, mature, ripen. Oh, look how red you're getting. Oh, I think these are blackberries. I gotta wait till we turn black. Wine berries are red. I think blackberries start off red. Green to red to black. As to where the wine berry is, yellow to orange to red. Oh, 
I'm gonna have a little taste one, right? It's just gonna be really tart. Is that you? Oh yeah, that's solid as a rock. I'm not eating that. <laughs> Soon. Soon. How you doing, baby dear? You're not doing a very good job of hiding. If I was a hunter, I'd have got you already. You look tasty, but there's food closer than I can prepare you. I would know how to prepare you, so you're safe. You're safe. Anyway, deer is flavorless meat. At least to me. Oh, switch bags. Yay. These were almost done, right? Remember, it goes from tunnel like this to like road. And there was a pizza hut right in front of me. Not necessarily craving pizza, but I would eat it. I don't want a Panda Express, man. Or Bonchon chicken. Mm. I haven't had Bonchon in years. I guess here is a good spot to have a safety meeting and wait for 12 to catch up. <clears throat> and change into some of my town clothes so I don't scare the peeps. It's crazy what you remember. We're walking down here with a girl named Q2. And I had paper maps, I didn't know what to expect. But you go from this, you know, green tunnel, you can hear the cars and stuff. And it's green tunnel to, boom, just black top. Just such a sudden change. And there was a pizza hut, which is now an Ichiban sushi and steakhouse. I went, the uh, like the three little pigs is what it was called. Yeah, those are hikers with stabs. Cool looking stabs. Is that like a pitchfork? Tuning fork, maybe. Uh, I think we're headed that way. So we're back at the outfitter. 12's having problems with the new shoes she bought. They, they're just not working for her. So she's trying out another pair. And she feels bad about slowing me down. So she wants to buy me a room in town tonight. Who am I to say no? To a free room, especially? I mean, I would pay half, but it, it, we've been staying in too many places, so uh, I'm happy for this. Works for me. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere, and I don't have to pay anything. Fuck like, yeah. And there's going to be a buttload of hikers there we know tonight, so you know, that makes it even more fun. Off to the Super 8. I stayed there last time I came through. I might as well stay here again. Nice little town. We had uh, we had barbecue at, like, I don't know, Three Little Pigs or something it was called, but they gave us all sorts of stuff, like ordered pickle chips, and the, the basket they gave me was overflowing with pickle chips, like at least twice the amount I expected. You know, I expected a decent amount when I ordered some, but no, it was twice the amount I expected. My, my, I ordered a half a chicken and two sides, and they were disgustingly huge. I did eat everything except the pickle chips. I, I, I ate my share, but I did not eat all of them. That was a little too much. And then they gave me free um, banana pudding and a huge bowl of it. I don't even like banana pudding, but free banana pudding is, is good stuff. So I mouthed that down too. And I'm, I'm hurting a little bit in a good way. So, yeah, let's go hang out at the motel and chill with hikers and stuff. Sounds like a good time. Hike it, yay. Yeah.